My name is Rick Russell, and I'm an associate dean here at UCLA in the School of Engineering and Applied Science. And this is the orientation to the online master's program here at UCLA. The first thing I want to talk about before I introduce the program is I want to um, give the proper credit to Professor Steve Jacobson, the associate dean who preceded me before he retired in July. Um, he really built the foundation for the online program. He obtained University of California approval, and that required going through many levels of administration. Uh, it was really quite remarkable, the accomplishment of getting it through that bureaucracy. And then, he won accreditation from the Western Association of Schools and Colleges so that you will be receiving an accredited master's degree in engineering from UCLA in about two years and one quarter. He also communicated personally by email to many of the MS Online applicants. So um, you probably are familiar with uh, Steve Jacobson. And so he retired in July and I'm now in that position. So. If you have like an ongoing conversation with him, you can continue it with me if you have any questions to follow up on. Um, so what are the areas? Um, as you all know, we have four areas that we're rolling out here in the fall of this year. And we have computer networking, signal processing and communications, mechanics of structures, and manufacturing and design. And I just wanted to mention those four areas because you might be getting your master's degree in one of these areas, but maybe you have a friend who should be getting their master's degree in one of the other three, and you can tell them about it because we're available. Um, also, in fall of 2008, the material science department is planning to roll out an online master's in electronic materials. So that'll be our fifth area. That'll start in a year. So. For the four areas that we have, each area has a director. And by some coincidence, the director of each area is also the professor who is offering the first course in the online program in that area. So for computer networking, the director of the computer networking area is Professor Mario Gerla. And he is also the professor for CS118 Computer Network Fundamentals that we'll be offering starting tomorrow. Uh, well, for those of you who are watching this online, that's starting on Monday, October 1st. The second area, signal processing and communications, the area director is Professor Kung Yao, and he is also the instructor for EE131A probability that is starting this quarter. Uh, for mechanics of structures, the director of that area is Ajit Mal, and he's also the instructor for MA156A advanced strength of materials. And finally, in the area of manufacturing and design, Professor Daniel Yang is the director of that area, and he's also the instructor for MAE 294, Computational Geometry. I just want to go over briefly the nine course program for the online masters. So you'll start out by taking eight lecture style courses. Um, and then the last thing you'll do is take an individual study course. That's basically the ninth course. The way it works is we'll have one course available per quarter. So your eight lecture style courses, if you take one course per quarter, including the summer, you'll be able to complete that, those eight courses in two years. And then the last thing is this ninth course, the individual study project course, which you could really do, you could do it at the same time you're taking your eighth course if you have time, or you could put it off until that ninth quarter. Um, it's not a master's thesis, it's a project. It's something that you should be able to complete in about the same time and effort that you would give to one of these other eight lecture style courses. But it's an individual study course where you're going to do a little bit of individual work that it's perfectly fine for it to be of interest to your company. In fact, we really encourage that. And you'll prepare a report, and you'll also give a presentation. And your professor, uh, you'll have a professor for that course who will attend that presentation either by video conference or live to participate in that and grade you on both the written report and the oral presentation. And this is a unique aspect of our online master's program, but we really think it's important that as part of getting your master's degree, you have a chance to further develop your written and oral communication skills because they'll uh, be as at least as important to your future career as the technical material that you're going to learn in this program. 
Um, so the idea is that the, the entire master's degree is designed to be completed in 2.25 years or two years and a quarter, taking one course per quarter. Viewing the lectures, in order to see your lectures, you're going to log into CourseWeb. It's a website that UCLA, that our School of Engineering uses to handle all of its uh, course material distribution. And CourseWeb, so you're just one more course at UCLA. The special thing about your CourseWeb website is that when you log into it, not only will you be able to view homeworks and handouts like any other student on campus, but you'll have an extra button to click on called Lectures, where you'll be able to actually view all of your lectures online. You have to have a CSNET username and password in order to access CourseWeb and the lectures. There are other usernames and passwords that you could use to get onto CourseWeb, a UCLA login, but to view the lectures, you have to have a CSNET username and password. And you received an email about how to go about getting that username and password. Those of you that are attending this orientation here today will be able to get that username and password right now. And if you haven't gotten it in person at UCLA, then you'll be able to follow the instructions on the email you received to get that username and password. But you have to have it to view your lectures. OK. So what about homework? Unfortunately, you will have homework. These are, in, in these courses, you should expect weekly homework that you download from CourseWeb. And you're going to turn in your homework the same way you received it, electronically. So you're going to download the homework assignment, and you're going to upload your completed homework. And in order to do this, you're going to have to have access to a scanner, either at work or at home. Um, nowadays, scanners aren't that expensive. You should, if you don't have access to one at work, and you don't already have one at home, you'll be able to pick one up for a couple hundred dollars or less at Best Buy or Fry's. What about exams? There are three ways to go for the exams. You can come to campus. Uh, all of the midterms are scheduled on a Saturday so that you won't have to miss any work to come to the exam. You can, if you can't come to campus or don't want to, because it is an online program, and we, when we're designing the program, we keep in mind that we don't want you ever to have to come to campus. You're always welcome to come to campus, but you shouldn't have to ever come to campus because we'd like for people to take our online program in Connecticut and Bombay and Beijing. So if you're, if you're not going to come to campus, then you can find a proctor. This is someone who is not your mother or your significant other. And they'll fill out a form about their objectivity. Um, and then that person can give you the exam. We'll communicate the exam to them prior to when you take it. Or you can go to a testing center. And there's more information about that that we've sent out in an email. Um, the midterm for this quarter, this fall quarter, is Saturday, November 3rd on for the on-campus exam. The rooms are already reserved. And in the email that was sent out about proctoring, we gave all the information about the time and place for that Saturday, November 3rd midterm. If you're going to take it off-site, you can take it on Friday afternoon. And the reason for the staggered timing is that we expect that some of the people taking the exam off-site will take it at work with a proctor who is a fellow employee at their company. And so it makes sense. If you're going to take it at your company, then Saturday is not the right time to do it. Maybe your supervisor doesn't want to come in on Saturday just to give you an exam. So you can take the midterm on Friday afternoon at your company or at one of the off-campus testing centers. Or you can take it Saturday. Um, basically, it's 1 to 3 in the afternoon on Saturday, November 3rd. Um, Whatever you're going to do, you have to tell us long before November 3rd. There's a form that you must turn in by October 19th called the C form, what the C stands for, Student Examination Agreement Form. That's where you tell us how you're going to arrange your proctoring. You receive an email with this form and all kinds of details about how to fill it out. So you need to find that email and make sure that you send us this form by Friday, October 19th. You can fax it to this phone number, 310-825-2473. Or you can email the scanned form after you've filled it out and signed it to the, the email address for the MS Engineering Online Program. So that's what those letters stand for, MS Engineering Online, um, msengrol at cs.ucla.edu. 
And you don't have to write this down if you're in the room because this, uh, w this presentation will be available online. Okay, so we do have a student affairs office. So this is, you contact the student affairs office for questions like, I took a graduate course at another university. Will I be able to use credit for that graduate course as part of my MS online degree? Or if you have really any other question that you have, you, you would either contact CSNET for technical problems with watching the lectures or the Student Affairs Office for anything else. If you're confused by how to fill out the proctor form, then contact the Student Affairs Office. Uh, we have two uh, new Student Affairs Officer for the, that is dedicated to the online program, Shanna Ravoner. And this is Shanna. We also have another Student Affairs Officer that needs to be recognized that's Jan Labuda. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you know, that's supposed to be a capital B. So we have another student affairs officer. Uh, oh, let's do this. So we have Shanna Raboner. There she is. She's your student affairs officer. All she does is support the online students. So you can contact her. And then Jan Labuda, well, the truth about Shanna is that we hired her. She's starting. Actually, even though she's in the room here for the reception, she starts on Tuesday. So who's been doing all the work for the online program for the last three years when we didn't really have a student affairs officer? That would be Jan Labuda. And she did this as a favor in addition to all of her other work. And she really, uh, I, I just can't tell you how much she's made it possible for us to have an online program. I don't, I don't think we would have had one if it weren't for all the work that she did at night and on the weekend. Um, so it's really a, a wonderful thing. Um, so how do you contact the student affairs officers? Send an email to msengineeronline at seas.ucla.edu. So this is our online program. And I really think it's a fantastic program. I want you to know that we're trying hard to produce an, ec an, ec an educational experience for you that is of the highest quality. We, we don't want to just have another online program. We want to have the best. We've gone out of our way to have the professors prepare lectures specifically for the online program. So what you're going to be watching are not just videotapes of lectures that they were going to do anyway. They're specially prepared video presentations with slides specially prepared with the online student in mind. You'll have a wonderful interface where you'll be able to go. If you're on slide 34 and you realize that now on slide 34 there was an equation on slide 17 that you need to understand better, you can click on slide 17 and listen to Professor Yao describe it ex one more time and then go back to slide 34. It's, it's a wonderful interface. I think you're going to like it. But I know that this is, you know, we're doing this for the first time and I know it's not going to be perfect. And I want you to know that while we're trying to do a good job, we know there are going to be issues and I want to encourage you to let us know how we can make it better. Let's face it, you guys are the beta testers. So this is our first quarter. We think it's going to be really good. But if we're not doing something right, let us know so we can make it even better for you next quarter. Um, so having said that, uh, this concludes this online presentation about uh, the introduction to the online master's program. And I'd just like to welcome you all. And thank you very much for coming here today.